Hi kids, today you are going to learn about long run cast curve. First you should know about what is the difference between the short run and long run. Okay, short run cast curve. Actually in the short run one factor is fixed and another factors are variable. But in the long run all the factors are variable. If the size of the firm it increased Oh, it increased means that is we are saying as a long run okay here there is no fixed inputs and also there is no fixed cost in the long run actually this long run cost curve here they given the diagram isn't it in this diagram you may check there what is the okay in this one they given the sac1 sac2 sac3 like that isn't it but what is that sac1 this one is the short run cost curve. Short run cost curve. Everything short run cost curve alone. Okay. In in the long run cost curve, what they are doing, small, small short run cost curve they are drawing and making the long run cost curve. Okay. That means with the uh, with the short run cost curve, that means the with the short run cost curve 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like this alone the long run cost curve it came, comes okay how it comes there with the short run cost curve so many short run cost curves are there with the short run cost curve alone we are making the long run cost curve that means in the firm what they are doing for the short term period they are making one of the output and another short term period they are making the another output and another short term period they are making the another output when we are joining all these outputs that means all the small outputs all the small uh, short run average what we are getting that we are getting the long run average cost okay we are getting the long run average cost what they are giving here that, that they are not denoted all these things in yours actually long run cost curve it is derived only from the short run cost curve alone okay with the so many short run cost curve we are deriving the long run cost curve that is the simplest thing with the so many short run so many short run is there isn't it here there is the so many short run is there with this so many short run alone we are getting the long run cost curve okay long run cost curve how we can able to find this one long actually long run average cost it is equal to long run total cost divided by q already i told ac equal to tc by q isn't it already we studied or not that one ac equal to tc by q we already studied that one same alone here also they given here what they added here long run they added okay long run average cost is equal to long run total cost divided by quantity okay okay next we will move on to the next chapter first uh, okay before that we will complete this uh, fully uh, what is the another name for the long uh, long run average cost everything we will complete that they given the another name for the long run average cost is a plant curve or the boat shape curve what they given there plant curve or boat shape curve or also it is called as a planning curve uh, and envelope curve planning curve or envelope curve that means it is having the four names sir what are the names they are it is called as a there plan curve boat shape curve planning curve and envelope curve okay these are all the things it the long run average cost is called as okay nowadays in the recent development nowadays it is developed this one everything what we are reading is the old alone isn't it in in uh, recent development in the cost theory the long run average cost curve is not in the u shaped it is in the u shaped isn't it but it is not in the u shaped it is in the l shaped it is in the l shaped why it is in the l shaped means already i told all the factors are variable here isn't it that means if the all the factors are variable means at the starting only the cost it will when you are expanding the production when we are expanding the, that means see here I am expanding the production, isn't it? When I am expanding the pro production, at first the cost it declines. At first the cost it declines. But after that it will be the cost, average cost, it will be constant alone. If you are 
add that means if you are going to give the more production also if you are uh, want to give the more production also the cost of the production it will be constant it won't change there okay it will only change by the economics of scale it will cost per unit whether it will falls or not only uh, we may say uh, with the economics of scale alone okay now we will move on to the revenue analysis what is the revenue analysis actually already i told what is the meaning of the revenue revenue means nothing income revenue means what income the amount of money that a producer receives in exchange for the sale of goods the amount of money the producer receives in a exchange for the sale of goods goods means sale of any product is known as the revenue okay revenue means what other another name they given sales revenue that only they given in the example if the firm they sells the 10 books at the price of rupees 100 each the total revenue will be 1000 10 into 100 these are all the things we studied in the lower class itself when you are studying in the mathematics in that itself you studied is it in one book it cost 100 rupees or that means 10 books how many rupees it cost we are uh, did everything isn't it same like that alone that means what the income you are getting that that is only we are saying if you are selling one of the book in the 100 rupees then your income when you are selling it for the 10 uh, you are, when you are selling the 10 books what is the income of you there 1000 rupees okay okay next we will move to the revenue concept what are the revenue concepts there the revenue concepts are total revenue marginal revenue average revenue first you should know about the total revenue what is the total revenue the total revenue is the amount of income received by the firm from the sale of its products okay when you are selling one of the product what the amount you are receiving that is called as a what total revenue they given with the diagram and the tabular column diagram what they given if you are selling one product you are getting 5 rupees if you are selling two product 5 to sir 10 okay if you are selling three product then 3 5 sir 3 5 sir what there 15 okay when you are selling four product 4 5 sir 20 okay because each uh, each product it cost 5 rupees so only we are doing like that okay that means the total revenue it goes on increase when you are selling the product more then the total revenue it goes on increasing it goes on increasing okay okay if the price is constant the total revenue it will increase but when the price is declining when the price is declining what it will happen the revenue at start in stage it will increase the total revenue at starting stage it will increase but after one of the point it will goes on decline it will goes on decline if the price of the product it declines means at starting the total revenue it will increase but after that a one of the point that means in the equilibrium level when it crosses the equilibrium level it will decline the total revenue it will decline they given the example here for the price declining what the total revenue will be there quantity sold if the one quantity it sold means the price is 10 the revenue also 10 if they are selling the two quantity then the price they declined there okay that means a 9 rupees uh, in the whole uh, wholesale uh, when you are buying there in the lump sum definitely the price of the product it will decline isn't it same alone they given here when they are buying two then the price is for price for the one of the product is 9 so 2 nines are 18 similarly only they given that means when you are increasing the product when you are increasing the quantity of the product the price it goes on declines but it when it goes on declines the total revenue at starting alone it increase but after that after the constant level this is the constant level the 5 to 6 and 6 to 5 when they are selling the five quantity at the price of 6 they got 30 rupees and when they sold out the six quantity at 5 rupees also they got the total revenue 30 that means that is the limit that is the limit but when you are selling the quantity seven units for 4 rupees then the total revenue it declines the total revenue it declines okay through the 
graph also they given see here at starting stage it increases but at one stage it is in the constant but after that it moves on declines it moves on declines okay next we will move on to the average revenue we already know how we are calculating the average revenue uh, already i told average means total by quantity isn't it here also same thing alone total by quantity that means average revenue equal to total revenue by quantity marginal revenue this also we know isn't it marginal means what i said when you are giving the addition addition of that one it is known as the marginal here they are saying about the revenue revenue when you are getting the additional in the total revenue by the sale it is known as the marginal revenue okay when you are getting the addition to the total revenue by the sale of an additional unit of a commodity is known as a marginal revenue same formula alone here also given see here there we studied about the in the marginal cost we studied mc is equal to tcn minus tcn minus 1 we studied isn't it here what they given here same like that alone they given here see here mr mr equal to trn minus trn minus 1 and in that also we studied this formula isn't it or trn plus 1 minus trn okay children thank you